And a special thanks and shout out to Rick Williams of Butler Maserati Alfa Romeo in Indianapolis, Indiana for allowing me to come out and film today. Hello everyone. Today we'll be taking an in-depth walk-around look at this very nice and very well equipped 2014 Range Rover Sport Supercharged HSC. And this Range Rover Sport is an Indus Silver, has the ebony and cirrus premium perforated leather interior. The Range Rover Sports are four-wheel drive with a shift-on-the-fly terrain response four-wheel drive system. It also includes hill descent control. They are powered by the 3-liter dual overhead cam 24-valve supercharged V6 engine. Creates 340 horsepower at 6,500 RPM and 332 pound-feet of torque at 3,500 RPM. They are mated to an 8-speed, electronically controlled, automatic gearbox with overdrive and sport mode. The Range Rover Sport was prefigured by the Range Stormer concept car introduced at the 2004 North American International Auto Show. This was a low-slung, short wheelbase, three-door coupe that was unusually sporty in the context of Land Rover's history. The second generation Range Rover Sport was announced on March 27, 2013 at the New York Auto Show. Several streets were shut down in Manhattan for a launch party at the Auto Show starring James Bond actor Daniel Craig. The new Range Rover Sport continues the design direction that produced the Evoque styling and the full-size full 2013 Range Rover. It is 4 inches longer, being 191 inches long and 400 pounds lighter, weighing in at 4,727 pounds.
This vehicle features a 20 inch silver painted five split spoke aluminum wheels, sits on two 55-55 R20 Michelin Latitude Sport tires. It is equipped with a dual pane panorama sunroof with a re power retractable shade. Side view mirrors have LED turn repeaters. Unlike the previous generation that uses an integrated body frame chassis, the L494 Range Rover Sport utilizes an all-aluminum monocoque body. It introduced the dynamic response suspension with active anti-roll bars. On the hood, it does feature active air intake scoops with a gloss black trim. And around the front, you have LED daytime running lights with LED accents on the turn repeaters, LED turn indicators, xenon high intensity discharge projector beam headlamps, and LED fog lamps. You've also got gloss black grill bezels with satin silver grill insert trim. And this vehicle is equipped with a smart key access system. By keeping the key fob in your purse or pocket, you're able to lock and unlock the vehicle. To lock the vehicle, simply locate the rib portion of the door handle and press it. The horn will chirp and the mirrors will fold in, indicating the vehicle is locked. And to unlock, just simply grab the handle and open it. And inside, high quality of materials and high build quality. Soft touch materials, leather and wood, as well as satin aluminum trim. And this vehicle does feature power heated, power fold away mirrors. And you've also got power windows and power door locks. Three driver memory on the door panel. Leather wrap, tilt and telescoping steering wheel. Nice supportive high back bucket seats. Seats are 8-way power with the driver and passenger with 4-way adjustable lumbar support as well as power bolsters. Nice attention to detail on the stitching and perforations. You have your hatch release as well as your instrument panel dimmer switch. All right, and pan through the interior and show in a little more details. Nice fluid power steering. The steering wheel does have controls for trip computer. You also have your Bluetooth voice control and phone controls, as well as audio controls and your cruise controls. Headlamp functions with automatic headlamps, front and rear fog lamps. You've also got your trip computer control on the end of the stalk. By pressing the button, it activates several different menus within the driver display screen. And this vehicle is not equipped as seen here with the thin film transistor, but just a standard analog configuration. At the top of the dash, you have twin air vents with satin silver bezels. You also have your touchscreen radio and navigation display. You've also got various controls along the side. By placing the vehicle in reverse, it does activate the reverse camera with active guidance lines. And you've got various hard key menu buttons on the side of the radio for your home menu setup, power switch, activate your analog clock, and you've also got your parking sense power switch. Climate controls, heated seat controls is, um, are on the center stack with digital readouts for the temperature and fan speed. Moving down the center stack, see the cup holders behind a roll top cover. You've also got your train response controls as well as stability control and various other controls. Nice deep center armrest. Adjustable arm, uh, center armrest for the seats as well. And 
and take a look overhead, automatic dimming rear view mirror with three channel home link universal garage door opener. You've also got soft touch LED lights. They just activate by touching them, similar to Jaguar's touch control. And of course you have your panorama roof and shade controls. Piano black trim along the front console. Nice large sun visors with LED illuminated vanity mirrors. The sun visors do fold but they do not slide on the rails. Alright, looking at the rear seat. The rear seat has the same quality and build materials as the front seat does. Nice wood, leather, and satin silver trim along the doors. The rear seats do seat three across. It is a 60-40 split folding seat with reclining seat backs and high adjustable head restraints on all passenger seating areas. The attention to detail with the perforations and stitching continue in the rear as well. And rear seat passengers do have a fold down center armrest with twin cup holders, a small little storage pocket with a net, and overhead they have touch control lighting and overhead assist handles as well. Two air vents, some storage, and a 12 volt power point, as well as seat back mat pockets. Folding the seat is easy, just lifting up on the lever and the seat back will fold forward. The little cutouts that you see in the rear headliner are for if the third row seat was optionally included. Alright, you can open the lift gate by one of two ways, by pressing the hatch release, or by pressing the key fob button. The hatch is electronically operated. And inside you find a very large amount of storage space. It's a nice load flat floor with no wheelhouse intrusions. You do have a 12 volt power point. Cargo capacity back here is 27.7 cubic feet. If you have the seats folded, it expands out to 62.2 cubic feet. Underneath your carpet mat, you do have your full-size spare tire with jack and tools. You've also got a roll-out privacy cover. Closing the liftgate is easy, just pressing the button in the liftgate trim panel. And this does conclude our in-depth walk-around look at this 2014 Range Rover Sport HSC Supercharged. We hope the review was informative, and as always, thanks for watching.